Tech now, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi, MD and CEO at Hester Biosciences, is with us. Uh, Mr. Gandhi, if you could tell us about your numbers, your profit growths have been decent by on a YOY basis. Can you just explain the numbers for us? Uh, our uh, H1 results have been uh, well in line with our forecast, wherein we have shown a 20% gro growth on the sales and a 30% growth on our net profit. In terms of uh, forecast versus actuals, we have achieved 96% in sales and 101% uh, in terms of profit uh, uh, on a H1 basis. Hi, Mr. Gandhi, Nantara here, joining in from the New Delhi studio. You know, because the quarterly results have been good. You're getting a thumbs up from the stock markets as well. The stock up by nearly 3%. Uh, but tell me, going forward, what is it that uh, your shareholders can look forward to? Do you have any growth plans? Uh, we keep hearing about alternative fuels, etc. How is all of that panning out? Uh, as far as our uh, growth plans are concerned, we have defined them reasonably well in the past few months, which is that we are setting up a manufacturing unit in Africa, in Tanzania, to manufacture vaccines which currently are very scarcely available in the African continent, more so due to Af animal diseases in the continent are a little different from what they are around in the other parts of the world. So that's our next uh, main uh, focus and our growth plan. The manufacturing unit in Tanzania should commence production by end of 2020. On the other side, we are focusing on exports of the PPR vaccine, which uh, has already been, it's already known that uh, United Nations FAO have embarked on a worldwide eradication program of the PPR disease in sheep and goat. So that is something which we are participating in worldwide tenders through FAO as well as through other countries. And that's another area which we are looking forward to. Right, Mr. Gandhi. Thanks so much for explaining.